Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up Pantos DNA solution. This is the What you like, I don't teach you how to do that. Now, this is Pantos instrument DNA This is the base. You can see on the box, the writing decades. These are the real decades. And then this one is the rover. So, this is the instrument here. The part of GNSS solution here we have this one is the this is the GPS for a uh, taxos. This is this is wireless data transceiver, and then we have the battery and some other parts on the manual. When you, when you get your uh, GPS, it all it usually have a manual, so the manual can guide you through on the parts. So now let me put you on how to set your instrument. The first thing is that you fix your battery into this GPS. So for you to this is the base. So for you to fix your battery, what you do is that you press this, then you put in the battery, and then you lock it, then you close it back. Then after that, after you fix your battery for this, you also fix the battery for the rover as well. So you put it inside, then you clip it, and then you press this. Then the next thing is for you to set up your tripod. This is tripod. We have laser tripod whereby it's going to show laser under under the tripod, and we also have optical implement tripod. That is this one. We allow you to focus on the exact point you want to reference to your point. This is this is the point you are referencing to. This is the point you are setting a tripod. So let me quickly set my instrument. Now you can see the bubble. Here is the bubble here. So you make sure you set the bubble at the center and also you also take note of the point that you are referencing to on the ground. So for you to set up the instrument, what you do is that you take note of where the bubble is and then you try to adjust the direction of the bubble. Then you can see now the bubble is much more closer to the center. Now what you do is, once the bubble is much closer, then you adjust the other side to bring in the bubble inside the circle. You can see now the bubble is now inside the circle. So after that, after you set the bubble at the center, the next thing for you to do is that you focus on the point, you focus to the point. You focus to the point where you are referencing to. If you see on it, if your child back is still at the center of the point. Now, I need to adjust it a little bit. Now, it's already at the center, and then the bulb is also at the center. Then the next thing is to bring in your base instrument to fix on the uh, child back. Now this is our base. So what you do is that you take the pole, you bring out this pole to fix your instrument. So you fix, you bring in the, so you bring in the base instrument. Now this is the base on this now. So the base has been set on the instrument. Now the other thing for us to do is to set, now this is the base now. The base is ready on the instrument. So you bring in the antenna for the base and fix the antenna. Then after you fix your antenna, the next thing is for you to set your rover. Now this is our rover. So what you do is that what you do is that you fix your rover to your pole. 
what you do is that this is our rover now so you fix your rover to the pole and then you set it to a certain height that you want to use for measurement like when you're having a tape even you like when you are doing a topographic job you have to take note of the height you are working with so this height now i'm setting it on 1.7 you can see it now is on 1.70 then after you set the tripod after you set the gps on the pole the next thing is for you to fix the antenna of the of the rover then after you fix the antenna so you bring out your data logger to fix it on the on the pole I love this. Come here. So you also clamp this at the back of your data logger so that it's going to hold your data logger. Then after you clamp it, you fix it to the pole. You press this button here, then you move it inside, then you lock it up. Now the the logger has now been fixed to the pole. The next thing is for you to connect your instrument. So for you to connect the instrument, the first thing is that you arm your base. So here is our base here. So what you do is that you arm your base. But before we on our base, let me quickly put this on this screen. This is satellites light here it indicates when the satellite is functioning here is the data transmitter that is it indicates that the instrument is transmitting data between the the gps and the data logger and here is this one is used for static observation this one is for but this is this here is for battery it's turn on green lights when when the battery is charged then when the battery is low it's it will be blinking not it will be blinking red light this is for bluetooth so now let's put it on and see what we have now you can see now the instrument has come up you can see the green light for the battery then after on your instrument the next thing for you to do is to pull on the data logger so that you can do the settings so this is the power button here you press it you can see now, it's on. Now, it has come up. So, after you on it, the next thing for you to do is you open Taxos app. So, for you to open Taxos app, what you simply do is you click on this app here, then you press it. Then after you open the app, the first thing you do is to create a project. Then you click on project. Then after you click on project, you click on new. Then after you click on project, you click on new. Then you give the project a name. You can either use the screen keyboard or you can use the uh, power button keyboard. So let me just name it as survey got easier. survey got easier then you give it creator name so let me name it as youtube then after you name it you click on coordinate system so after you click on coordinate system we have wgs84 we have bj54 we have uh, cgc we have utm31 so and likes so depending on the location you are, but the location I'm, I, I am currently is uh, zone 31, UTM zone 31 Nigeria. So I'll click on UTM zone 31. Then after I click on UTM zone 31, I'll click on select. Then after I click on select, I'll click OK. Now see now, he's asking you, do you want to close current project and open new one? That is, you want to create a new one, then you click on yes, and then 
after you click on yes it's going to load now the project has been created you can see on the screen now we have survey got easier at the top here which means survey got easier is the current job on it then after that you connect your base instruments so for you to connect your base instruments you come to connect now under connect we have different type of connection we have bluetooth connection we have nfc connection you can see on the screen here this is nfc connection nfc is simply at the back of your at the back of at the back of your data logger here you just put it at the at the extreme edge of your base then it will connect automatically itself but i'll be using bluetooth connection now for your bluetooth connection other connect configure you click on it and then you make sure you check your serial number at the bottom of your base instrument there is a serial number on it for the serial number for my base is it end with 965 so i'll click on 965 then i'll click on connect now the base is successfully connected so now the base is now connected so after i connect you click on base then when you click on base the next thing for you to do is you select because i told you i'll be using internal connection so i'll click on i'll click on the last one here that says manual plus manual plus internal radio so i'll click on it, that then after i click on that i'll click on details now when you click on details it's going to display this page so on this page now we have other start other startup we have to type we have auto start and manual start for auto start the instrument okay let me show you that for auto start when you click on auto start you can see now the instrument has display screen whereby you won't be able to edit any coordinates or input any coordinates so the instrument will be the one to give it the coordinates itself for the auto start but i'm not going to be using but for for manual start so let's click on manual start for manual start now you can see now it's going to show coordinates when you click on this neh looker it's going to show your xyz coordinates so now the xyz coordinate you can either edit the coordinate when you have the coordinate of that point or you use the coordinate the instrument is is giving you that is the, the coordinate that the base is set to so the next thing for you to do is uh under your other antenna heights for the if you are doing a topography job what you do what you simply do is to measure the antenna height for your for your instruments so for you to measure the antenna height you are going to make sure that you are pointing the, uh, your tape is well points to your points to the point then you bring in you you put it at this at this edge of uh, this black edge so the my antenna height is a uh, 1.70 so my antenna height is a 1.7 so what i'll do is i'll edit this to 1.7 because the measurement was on 1.7 then i'll click ok and then you make sure it's on slant you make sure that it's on slant because the measurement was on slant it's not a straight measurement it's on slant it's a slant measurement so you click on slant then you click ok that is if you are doing a job that requires height z like topography survey after you click on the height the next thing you do is to generate the coordinates so for you to generate the coordinates you click on this location icon now the coordinate has been generated that is the coordinate for your base setup then after that you click ok mm. Now you click on start and then you click OK. So the base is now set. Then you click on this arrow direction. Mm -hmm. So the next thing for you to do is to turn on your rover instrument. So for you to connect your rover, what you simply do is uh, you click on, you on your rover instrument. Then when you on your rover instrument, you know I told you now we have the serial number at the bottom of your GPS so you change the serial number to rover rover serial number which is a 953 then you click on connect 
Now the instrument is now connected. So you can come to survey. Okay, so under survey now, you click on survey icon. Now this is survey icon. Under this place, we have configure. Under oh. configure, oh. we have we have a survey opt. For survey opt, it is the time that you want to. It depending on the time you want your 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 rover to to hold before you pick the data the coordinates how you want your coordinate to be resolved you can set it to five minutes you can set it to five seconds but my own is currently on five seconds but if i want it to be on five seconds i can edit it here but i'll be using five seconds so that is that for that then for your rover instruments the current the height i showed the other one was on 1.7 so i'll click on 1.7 and then you change it to pull because it's on pull then that is it for on the rover then now we are good to go now after you are done with all your settings you make sure that the data logger is fixed the instrument is fixed before you pick your observation now the instrument is not fixed so now i'll be picking my observation for you to pick your observation point for you, for you to pick your observation this uh, location icon is what you will click or you can click on the keyboard a button here for your location icon so for me to pick this point now what else you can see now this is fixed yet yeah, the fix i was talking on earlier on so for me to pick this point i will simply click on this icon here you know that i set i set it on five seconds so it's using five seconds to load to resolve before it picks no now so now this is the coordinates xyz so then you click ok so i can move now to pick other points then after i don't pick your points you click on this place here this is where it shows the point that you are picked that you picked. For you to start that the instrument after you are done with your observation on site, what you simply do is that you can either shut down through the GPS instrument itself. You, you press the power button or you can use the data logger to shut down the base and the rover. Firstly, you shut down your, your rover instrument. So for you to shut down your rover instrument, you click on this icon here. You back. Then you can see now it's showing shut down Oscar. Then you click OK. Now the rover has been shut down. Now you can see on the on this now it's no longer on. Then after you are done uh, disconnecting your rover, shutting down your rover, you click on the app again. Then when you click on the app, it's going to load back. Then after it load, you simply connect your base instrument because this base has been. The driver has been disconnected, so you connect your base instrument. Then after you connect your base instrument, then after you connect your base instrument, you do the same thing to shut down your base instrument, just like the way you shut down your rover instrument. So you click on this arrow direction icon, and then you click shut down Oscar, then you click OK. Now the base instrument has been shut down. Now on this, you can see now it's no longer on. It's not on again. That is how to set up passlogs instruments using internal radio. Don't forget to subscribe to my channels for more practical videos. Thank you.